We're fighting angles today. Uh, we've actually done a little bit of this before, but we're going to do it in a little more depth, be, be a bit more thorough. Uh, we're going to start by having a little subheading, which is before we're fighting angles at all, I want you to write this. In verses. Okay, this is a really important idea. It goes all the way back to when we're doing equations, okay? So think back to equations and solving equations in particular, right? Now, if you have something like this, simple one. Okay, x plus 2 equals 3, right? And to solve an equation, like that, what we really want to do is find the value of whatever that premium rule is, right? Now, we try to think of an equation, equal sign, as kind of like a um, set of scales, and it's balanced, right? So if you do something to one side, you do it to the other, yeah? So what things should we do to both sides here to get x by itself and solve it? X minus We should, yeah, Darcy? Minus 2. Good, we should take away 2, minus 2, for both sides, which is what you said, I think, okay? Now, you can do that without doing the working, but just for the sake of it, I'm gonna write it, the working, the minus two on both sides, okay? I'd love you to follow along, right? And then, sure enough, over here, the plus two and the minus two, they just sort of cancel each other out, right? So you get zero here, so it's just an x on its own. Three minus two is one, and that's the solution. You can take that, you can pop it back in your original one, okay? So this is example one. Right? Yeah. Do you have to do the minus two minus You mean this two line the, here? The two minus two? This line here? Yeah. You mean write it out? No, no, do you have to like, um, yeah. can't you just do like the minus two on the right side? Okay, now, the reason why I put it on both sides is to emphasize, because this is something that is easy to get wrong. If you do something to one side, you must do it to both sides, right? So alternatively, you could go straight to saying, well, look, if you're going to take away two, it's going to get rid of this plus 2 anyway. So you can just write down x. That's what's going to happen eventually, right? And say x equals 3 minus 2. But I think it's really helpful to see. You're doing the same thing to both sides, okay? Yeah. I'm like, what I learned, like, uh, someone told me, to, like, where the x is, you swap that with the, you put that x on the other side. Like, you do know the x is, you yep. put that where the 3 is, and you put the 3 where that is. Oh yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Would that work as well? You'll do much the same thing. You'll have some negatives if you do it that way, but it'll work out. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, now, here's the important thing to get, right? The reason why we chose minus 2, right? Minus 2 is exactly right. Is because minus 2 is the inverse of plus 2, right? So there's this important idea, an inverse, right? It's like, um, it's like a process, right, or an operation. Or a really, if you want to be really technical, you can use the word a function, right? Or function. That what it does is, it, it reverses or it undoes something that happened before. It's literally, it's like an undo button, actually, right? It's like, look, I did plus two. It's like, well, hit undo. The way you do it is take away two, right? That undoes something else. Okay. Right? So this inverse idea is really important. So for plus 2, this is, we're comfortable with this, the inverse is minus 2. Right? Well, let's have a look at another quick example. What if I gave you 3x equals 24? Okay. Again, what we've got here is there's only one thing we need to do to get x by itself and solve it. What should I do? Now, to help you see what's going on, I'm going to show you that... Um, 3x, right? It's actually oh, shorthand. What's it short for? Yeah. What's, What's it short for? Times three. Times three times, three times, times x, right? Now, rather than write three times x, I'm actually going to write x times three. You'll see why in a second. Okay? Because, yeah, you see, the operation is times three, so the inverse of times three divide. is divide by three. It's exactly right. Just like up here, I'm going to write out a step. Uh, I'll divide by 3. If I do the left hand side, I should do the right hand side. Uh, divide both sides. Right, right, right. Okay. Are you sure it's 7? Yeah. Just, just 8. eight. I think mean, it's 8. eight. It's 8. eight. No, it's eight. It's eight. Yeah. Put money on it right there. There you go. And you can always check because I can put it back in here. 3 times 8, sure enough, is 24. Okay. No worries. So, what happened, right? We had times 3. So, we looked for its inverse, which was divide by 3. Okay? 